Hey, hey, it's Mega, aka Art Messiah, here to save you from your art sins. Um, today I'm going to be doing something uh, special for you guys. I'm going to be reviewing the Samsung Notebook 9 Pro. So, first up, um, I just want to go ahead and give you guys uh, the specs of this laptop. Um, so, this is a very powerful laptop. Um, it's got the 8th gen i7 uh, Intel processor in it um, with a dedicated graphics card. Um, it's got the uh, Radeon um, 540 uh, in this model. Um, and uh, the model that I'm currently working off of is a 16 gigabyte uh, version. Um, so, all these things uh, put together. Um, allow for very smooth and fast um, use uh, while working within Photoshop when doing um, artistic kind of things, uh, drawing and what have you. Um, now this laptop is honestly um, very powerful, um, um, honestly kind of overkill for just an artist that's using Photoshop but the reason that I love this laptop so much right now uh, is that I can do other things with it, such as uh, video editing. And um, since I'm an engineer, I can also use it for my engineering classes and running um, AutoCAD programs such as SolidWorks um, and various other things like that. Um, that's why I enjoy it so much. So a little bit about the screen. Um, this is a um, 15... Um, 0.6, I believe, inch screen, um, which gives you plenty of real estate um, to be able to work with, um, whether it be drawing or photo editing or video editing, it gives you a lot of space to work with, it, which um, I really enjoy. Um, so um, that's about it for the specs. Um, the only thing that I failed to mention is that it also has a solid state drive, um, so it has a very quick um, um, loading um, loading times are booting up time so whenever you start your computer it's going to be up within about uh, five seconds um, another thing that I would like to point out is that um, um, uh, it's got good load speeds and even when like loading up Photoshop it's very quick and working with multiple layers and a lot of layers are um, very um, high definition photos, it can handle that very easily. Um, hold on while I grab my um, Bluetooth keyboard so I can kind of go into the drawing stuff now. Um, so, while in um, it's um, impossible to use the keyboard, um, that's kind of the downsides for a lot of uh, two in one laptops. Um, is that you lose that functionality. Um, so for artists, that can be a very big downside. So one solution that I have found for it is simply buying um, just a cheap Bluetooth keyboard offline as your um, method of being able to do controls such as undo, redo, um, changing the brush, uh, brush sizes, uh, changing the size of the document. Uh, so I have all my controls over here uh, to be able to do all that type of stuff. Okay, so um, here's just a document I open so I can kind of show you um, how the drawing is um, and how it kind of works on this tablet and what you guys can kind of expect um, if you purchase um, this laptop or have interest in this laptop. Hey, sorry about that. I am back. I uh, had a little bit of technical difficulties. Uh, my camera just wanted to die on me. Um, but uh, anyways, I recharged that back up and uh, I started a few things. I started my computer, make sure things were running quickly and smoothly. Um, but yeah, so to pick up where I kind of left off um, is that I uh, kind of want to go into uh, the different types of pens that you can use for this laptop um, and to kind of go into... Um, how it is as a drawing surface, and that's what the rest of this review is going to be about. Um, so this surface and this screen, um, it uses Wacom, uh, Wacom EMR technology, 
um, which is kind of the tried and true technology of um, touch and stylus input. Um, so this is going to be your most uh, sensitive, um, uh, best level of pressure sensitivity, um, but then also has some cool features um, like tilt sensitivity. Uh, now I've turned tilt sensitivity off um, for the current time just because uh, I like using this brush like a flat brush, um, but when you tilt it, um, uh, let me go ahead and just turn that on for you real quick so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Um, uh, let's see, shape dynamics, you can do uh, an angle jitter and you can have a, a pen tilt. So um, as I draw, if I kind of rotate it around, you can get some uh, different angles. So for example, here's that line. Now if I tilt the pen, it's going to be a little bit different to the pen again. It's going to be a little bit different. So it's a little bit hard to tell with this brush. Um, but um, um, if you have this this angle jilt, uh, jitter uh, set to pen tilt, then yeah, you can go ahead and use it with the pen tilt. Um, that's kind of how it works. Um, let me go ahead and undo all that stuff. So yeah, so that's some really cool, uh, really cool thing about um, this screen uh, is that you do have that option for um, pen tilt. Um, and since it is uh, EMR technology, you can use uh, a variety of different pens, um, but they have to be compatible with the two-in-one. Um, so I will put links in the description below about what pens you can use, um, but you can use this uh, Wacom bamboo pen. You can't use all Wacom bamboo pens. Some bamboo pens are made for um, other two-in-ones and that technology, so you can't use um, some of the Wacom Smart Ink um, bamboo ones. I, I do have the one you can't use it on this laptop. So you have to get specific ones and I'll go ahead and uh, put the link in that. But you do get um, tilt and printer sensitivity as long as you have a Wacom EMR pen. Uh, for example, um, I bought this pen offline. Uh, this was only five dollars um, and it still has um, the, the same kind of sensitivity. As you draw you can have thick lines, you can have th thin lines. Uh, darkness, all that kind of stuff. So um, you can pick up a whole different um, slot of pens um, that kind of work for you and that you kind of feel comfortable with. Um, this one has a really fine tip. Um, this is made by Samsung and it's made for the tab, um, but it works um, well with uh, this laptop and they also have a built-in stylus into the laptop which is great so if you I don't know take notes or like to draw on the go you don't want to have a lot of stuff with you, you just grab your laptop grab your laptop bag and you're good you don't have to carry anything else around um, so yeah I just wanted to kind of explain those pen options to you guys um, and I'll go ahead and, and, and kind of sketch in here real quick so you can see um, how it kind of looks and how it kind of feels and I'll do it with um, a few of the different pens that I um, currently do own. Um, um, so one thing I, I do want to uh, throw out there is that the screen is very glossy um, as is. Um, so when you buy it, um, when you go to draw on the screen, it is very glossy. So it's not going to necessarily feel uh, exactly like paper. Uh, but the solution to that is um, uh, getting a screen protector. Um, and I wanted a screen protector anyway to protect the screen if I'm going to be drawing it on, on it all the time. And so I got a non-gloss uh, anti-glare screen protector. Um, that's what I currently use. And it kind of gets rid of that glossiness, um, to be honest. Um, and it's, it, it feels pretty good. Um, it feels pretty good to sketch on. Um, so as you can see, um, really responsive. This computer, computer is really responsive. Um, like I said, it's got a lot of power to it, so uh, really easy to sketch and um, all that kind of stuff. So um, very good, very good in that regards. Um, I wasn't initially going to switch it over to um, kind of like a screen recording, but I'm kind of just a little bit so you guys see a little better what I'm doing, and I'll just keep it on this 
um, using this GoPro, but I am running out of battery again. So, kind of final verdict of this is that um, it, it is uh, it's a great um, affordable um, two-in-one laptop. If you're gonna go the two-in-one route, um, I would definitely recommend um, um, giving this a shot. Um, it isn't um, super super cheap, but compared to a lot of the laptops. Um, um, with the drawing capabilities and kind of like gaming and stuff, it is a really good buy. Um, so you can probably pick this up uh, brand new for around a, a thousand, um, a, a thousand flat. Um, I happened to buy this off of my brother because he had it and uh, he was trying to upgrade. So um, I just bought it off him. But yeah, it's it's a very affordable laptop, especially for um, what you get um, out of it. Um, I think it's a really great deal. Um, the drawing feels really good. And once you go ahead and get some pens for it, uh, the pen that comes with it is really small. Um, so I just cannot draw with it. And uh, so I um, pretty pretty quickly kind of upgraded and kind of test some of the other pens out. And once I got my hand on these other pens, I was um, kind of really satisfied with my uh, experience with it. Um, so I would I would give this laptop a pretty good rating for uh, artists um, that are looking to really do it all. I can do my engineering work. It's a two-in-one. I can take my notes from class. Um, really powerful. I can do some light gaming on it. Um, and overall, just it works really well and is really good for the price. So um, yeah, that's my final thoughts on it. Um, if you guys have any questions about the laptop or what pens you might be able to use for it or just anything pops up, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Um, if there's anything I missed, also um, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I will be posting an actual art video um, sooner rather than later. Um, uh, thank you guys for sticking around. and. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up, but uh, thanks for checking out this video, and I'll be back with another one, so stay tuned. Peace, y'all.